So people ask me all the time, why do you like coding? Isn't it boring? Isn't it hard? Do you still have a social life? Well, today I wanted to share with you five reasons why I have stuck with coding and why I love it. The first reason is that you're always learning and challenging yourself. Whether you're learning a new programming language or a new data structure, you are always stretching your mind. Now, don't get me wrong, the learning curve for coding is pretty steep. However, by letting yourself make those mistakes and experience those failures, that is when you grow the most. Coding really pushes you outside of your comfort zone, and it also teaches you a lot about patience, perseverance, and discipline. The second reason is that problem solving can actually be kind of relaxing. I know, I know you're probably thinking, Jasmine, how can you say that every time I'm stuck with a problem, I just want to tear my hair out? Well, I've been there before too. But this is how I started thinking about it. Instead of asking myself questions like, why can't I figure this out? Why is this so hard? I started asking myself questions like, how can I figure this out? And then I started going to places like Stack Overflow, forums, Googles, TAs, professors. And every single time I would be able to get forward moving on this idea or figure out the problem that I was having issues with. And by doing this, I found that it was kind of like being a detective, going to multiple sources, collecting information, and putting the pieces together. It's really fun too when you get to finally figure out the puzzle at the end. The third reason is that you get to work on really exciting projects when you know how to code. As a coder, you have a lot of control over how you get to design how things work. So at a lot of hackathons, I would be able to get to collaborate with really interesting people and be able to piece the designs together with the code. So one of the first software engineering projects that I got to work on was a bus app. I got to parse data from my local transit system and put them together so that I could track when buses would arrive at each stop. I also got to make a Spotify for smoothies at a hackathon once so that people were able to match ingredients to the type of smoothie that they wanted. I also got to create really interesting applications for large companies such as Best Buy and Nordstrom, which leads me to my next point. The fourth reason is that code opens up a lot of opportunities for you. More and more jobs these days are requiring technical skills, even if it's not a technical position. In my first year of college, most people didn't think landing an internship was possible for someone that young. But when I sat down with the interviewer for my first internship as a digital design internship at Best Buy Canada, what really made me stand out was that I knew how to code in HTML and CSS. At the time, not a lot of people knew how to code as digital designers, and it was a really useful skill for somebody who was going to be working on the websites. Not only did I know things like Photoshop, InDesign, and things like that, but knowing basics of how to code on the front end was really important as well. I also got the chance to travel to multiple cities in the country with my coding skills for hackathons, for competitions. I got to win scholarships. And it's just really cool what types of things you can do with the amount of technical skills you have. A lot of companies are looking for them, so they will invite you out for trips, recruiting events, etc. I am forever grateful for the amount of opportunities that I got because I knew that if I did not know how to code, none of this would have been possible. The fifth and final reason why I love coding is that you get to be a part of a passionate community that also loves technology. Sure, most of the time, programming is an individual activity. However, I found a lot of my computer science classes and my technical internships to be super collaborative. I think it's because when everybody's struggling and nobody knows everything, people tend to band together and try to figure out things together. In the coding community, nobody knows everything because there's always a new coding language, a new API, or a new problem to solve. So everybody needs help sometimes. When you're helping each other out, it also makes it feel good. And somebody's always really passionate about a specific topic or a language, so they want to be able to share their knowledge with you. I've been able to meet so many talented and hardworking people through this community, and it makes you less, feel less alone when you're struggling with that next segmentation fault or you know that bug, because we've all been there before. I hope this video helped you guys understand why I love coding so much. And I hope this has inspired you to pick up some coding if you haven't done so already. If you're interested in learning how to code, feel free to check out my video on five free ways on learning how to code. And as always, don't forget to put in the comments what kind of other questions you have. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.